In the heart of Victoria, Australia, nestled in the rugged terrain of the Maligal Goldfields, two Cornish miners, John Deason and Richard Oates, made a discovery that would etch their names into the annals of history. On the 5th of February 1869, while working the fields of Bulldog Gully, they uncovered the largest gold nugget to have ever been discovered. It was of unprecedented size and weight, and was later named the Welcome Stranger. The nugget was buried just a few centimetres beneath the surface, near the roots of a tree. Upon unearthing it, Deason and Oates quickly realised they had found something extraordinary. The sheer size of the nugget was such that Deason reportedly broke two pick handles trying to dislodge it from the earth. The nugget measured roughly 61 centimetres by 31 centimetres, or 24 by 12 inches, and had an irregular shape, resembling a mass of gold fused with quartz. Its appearance was so astonishing that upon discovery, Deason and Oates decided to keep the find secret until they could safely transport it. Under the cover of darkness, they transported the nugget to Deason's hut, where they kept it concealed until the time was right to move it to the nearby town of Denali. Though secrecy is to be expected when one discovers such a monumental gold nugget, there may be more nefarious reasons for their secrecy, which I'll explain later in this video. Maligal is part of the broader region known as the Golden Triangle, famous for its rich alluvial and hard rock gold deposits. The geological makeup of Maligal includes extensive alluvial plains, formed by ancient river systems. These plains are underlain by deeply weathered bedrock, and are characterised by quartz veins or reefs that have been the primary source of gold in the area. Over millions of years, these quartz veins weathered and eroded, releasing gold into the surrounding soil and riverbeds. The gold found in Maligal, including the Welcome Stranger, is largely alluvial, meaning it was deposited by water movement. The area's gold deposits have been concentrated in the riverbeds and creeks, where the heavy gold particles settled and accumulated. This process, coupled with natural weathering, led to the formation of large gold nuggets, which could survive the forces that pulverised lighter materials. The region's nickname, the Potato Diggings, reflects the size and frequency of these gold nuggets, with many resembling the size and shape of potatoes. The quartz in the Welcome Stranger Nugget was black. This black quartz likely resulted from the presence of impurities, such as manganese oxides or other minerals, which gave the quartz a darker appearance. When Deason and Oates found the nugget, they initially mistook it for a large stone because of the dark colour of the quartz. Only after closer inspection did they realise it was a massive gold nugget encased in quartz. Black quartz, or quartz with a dark coating, is not uncommon in gold-bearing areas. The coloration can occur due to various mineral inclusions or surface staining, which often results from chemical interactions between the quartz and other elements in the surrounding environment. In the case of the Welcome Stranger, the black quartz was part of what made the nuggets so unique and notable, as it highlighted the unusual combination of pure gold and dark quartz, making it stand out from typical gold nuggets that are often associated with lighter coloured quartz. The geological history of Maligal and the surrounding Bendigo Zone, part of the Western Lachlan origin, is intimately tied to subduction processes. During the Paleozoic era, particularly from the Ordovician to Devonian periods, around 485 to 359 million years ago, the eastern margin of the Gondwana continent, which included what is now Victoria, experienced subduction of oceanic plates. This subduction led to the creation of extensive sedimentary basins, where fine-grained sediments were deposited. Tectonic compression during the Lachlan orogeny resulted in the folding and faulting of these sedimentary layers, creating the complex structures that host quartz reefs. Hydrothermal fluids associated with subduction-related magmatism infiltrated these folded and faulted rocks, precipitating gold within the quartz veins. This unique geological setting led to the rich endowment of gold that was later concentrated in alluvial deposits by erosion and weathering. Maligal and the surrounding region have piqued my interest for years. It's my belief that something different took place here which produced such large gold nuggets. This is an area of study that I'm still engaged in, but I believe there was an additional and crucial volcanic component that led to the vast enrichment of the area. The Welcome Stranger Nugget was not only the largest gold nugget ever discovered, but also one of the heaviest. After removing impurities, such as quartz, the nugget yielded around 2,284 troy ounces. The value of the nugget was substantial, even at the time. The nugget was sold for about 9,381 pounds, which would be worth millions in today's money. 
To calculate its current value, we can use the current gold price. As of now, gold is priced around 3,721 Australian dollars per troy ounce. With a nugget containing approximately 2,284 troy ounces of pure gold, its value today would be around 8.5 million Australian dollars. Handling a nugget of this size and weight presented significant challenges. They transported the nugget to the blacksmith shop of Archibald Walls in Denali. There, using an anvil and hammer, they broke the nugget into three pieces, because the nugget was far too large and heavy to use scales to weigh it. There are reports that to facilitate this process, the nugget was heated overnight in a fireplace to make the quartz more brittle, a technique that would have made it easier to break apart. By heating the quartz, decent and oats made it more brittle and easier to fracture, which allowed them to separate the gold from the quartz more effectively. Once broken down, the gold could be transported more easily and weighed using the scales available at the time. But the story of the welcome stranger is not without its controversies. Rumours suggest that Deason and Oates may not have been working on a legitimate claim at the time of their discovery. It's even suggested that they claim jumped onto another mine's territory and worked the ground there. There were concerns that they might have been operating without a proper miner's right for the claim containing the nugget. This speculation is rooted in the practices at the time, where claim jumping was not uncommon. Given the value of the nugget, it was a plausible fear that the government or the mine in question might step in and claim ownership. There were historical precedents for this, as seen in other nugget discoveries where legal disputes significantly reduced the prospector's share. To avoid such issues, Deason and Oates acted swiftly to move and sell the nugget. The sequence of events from the discovery of the nugget to its eventual sale unfolded rapidly driven by the need for secrecy and security. On February the 5th, 1869, Deason and Oates discover the Welcome Stranger Nugget, supposedly in Bulldog Gully. They transported it to Deason's hut under the cover of darkness. In the following days, the Nugget was kept hidden, and plans were made to transport it safely to Denali. Deason and Oates likely realised the risks involved, including theft or claims from others, which led them to act cautiously. The Nugget was moved to Denali, hidden in a farm cart under bags of produce. The partners take it to the blacksmith shop of Archibald Walls, where it is broken down into three pieces. The discovery of the Welcome Stranger Nugget quickly became a spectacle, drawing crowds of curious onlookers and fellow miners eager to catch a glimpse of the enormous gold find. The Nugget's discovery in February of 1869 created a buzz not only in the small town of Denali, where it was taken for sale, but also throughout the broader Victorian goldfields. News of the nugget spread rapidly, and people flocked to see the largest gold nugget ever found. The excitement was palpable, and the nugget became a local sensation, symbolising the rich promise of the Australian gold rush. The pieces of the nugget were then taken to the London Chartered Bank of Australia in Denali. Initial negotiations with the bank manager led to an agreement, and the nugget is weighed and sold. As mentioned before, the final sale price was approximately £9,381, a substantial sum at the time equivalent to a considerable fortune. After the sale, the gold from the nugget was melted down and sent to Melbourne, from where it was shipped to the Bank of England. This marked the end of the physical journey of the nugget, but the beginning of its legacy. Despite its fame, the Welcome Stranger nugget was melted down relatively quick, which meant it could not be properly studied or described in detail. This haste was particularly driven by the practicalities of handling such a large piece of gold, and a desire to quickly capitalise on its value. As a result, there were no scientific analysis conducted on a nugget before it was melted down into gold ingots. However, one person managed to create a lasting record of the nugget before it was lost to history. A sketch was made by a local artist, who captured the shape and appearance of the welcome stranger as it appeared when it was first discovered. This drawing is one of the few visual representations we have of the nugget, providing a glimpse into what must have been an awe-inspiring sight. The sketch, though simple, serves as a valuable historical record, offering insight into the nugget's size and shape, and preserving the memory of one of the most remarkable gold finds in all of history. The Potato Diggings is a colloquial name given to the gold-rich area in the Maligal region during the height of the gold rush. This nickname arose because of the frequent discovery of large gold nuggets, many of which were comparable in size to potatoes. These nuggets were found in shallow alluvial deposits, making them relatively easy to dig up, much like harvesting potatoes. The fertile goldfields of the potato diggings attracted countless prospectors seeking their fortunes, with many striking it rich in the process. 
The discovery of the Welcome Stranger was one of the most famous examples of these finds, proving the area's reputation for yielding large and valuable gold nuggets. The Welcome Stranger Nugget remains a symbol of the Australian Gold Rush era, epitomising the allure and mystery of gold mining. The discovery not only brought wealth to Deason and Oates, but also highlighted the potential of the Victorian goldfields, attracting more miners and contributing to the region's economic development. An obelisk now stands near the site of the discovery, assuming they discovered it there at all, commemorating this remarkable find. While the original nugget was melted down, replicas can be seen in museums, preserving the story for future generations. The Welcome Stranger Nugget is a reminder of the rich history of gold mining in Australia, and the incredible geological processes that can concentrate such vast wealth in the earth. So the discovery of the Welcome Stranger Nugget is a story of fortune, geology, and the adventurous spirit of the gold rush. The immense size and value of the nugget reflect the unique geological conditions of the Maligal region, where nature's forces over millions of years deposited gold in a way that has fascinated and enriched humans. From the moment of its discovery to its sale, the Nugget's journey illustrates the excitement and peril of gold mining in the 19th century. The legacy of the Welcome Stranger continues to capture the imagination, symbolising the dream of striking it rich that drove so many to the Victorian goldfields. The geological processes that shaped the Bendigo region, involving ancient subduction, sedimentation and the formation of gold-rich quartz veins, have left an indelible mark on the history and landscape of Australia. As a part of the potato diggings, the area remains a poignant reminder of a bygone era when large gold nuggets could be found just beneath the surface, waiting to change the lives of those fortunate enough to discover them. I hope you found this to be as interesting as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started the second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I've released a video on the marsupial lion which existed in Australia during the time Indigenous Australians walked the continent. I've also covered the wombat that was the size of a car, known as the Diprotodon, or the largest terrestrial lizard known as the Megalania. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel and to the aforementioned videos in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.